Greetings, my brothers. Greetings. College degrees and fake bodies are running rampant. Booties. I uncovered secret documentations about a new diet that is keeping black celebrities lean. Weed. It's impossible to lose weight when your body parts are fake. Plastic. Not to mention how ridiculous they look going through metal detectors. Like a fool. Beyonce knows knows all about good health. She's a mother of three with no stretch marks. Most people have one baby and their stomach resembles the Grand Canyon. Mountain. Not only does she look better with time, she also managed to be a sex symbol with no booty whatsoever. It says here that she is on the Djibouti diet. Uh, for those of you that don't know, this diet was started by Dr. Baba Louie to help the health of black celebrities. Because most celebrities have poor people habits. As you can see, the Kardashians still eat noodles. Beyonce is too rich to be lusting over donuts. And this is why the Djibouti diet is so effective. What Dr. Baba Louie believes is that health is the new wealth. And black people receiving wealth is what the dominant society fears the most. This is why Beyonce is on her black power tip. It says on page 54, Beyonce met Dr. Baba Louie while he was selling incense and oils at a flea market in Houston, Texas. It says he noticed she was aging badly, and he also noticed she ain't have no Djibouti. And that's when he introduced her to the Djibouti diet, because there's nothing worse than a woman with no hips. A lot of you didn't know this, but it says here in my highly classified documentation that the movie Norbit was about Beyonce and Jay-Z. A lot of you didn't know, but at one point in her career, she weighed over 300 pounds I that. then it says she was a part of a biker gang that called themselves the chunky bunnies chunky Bunny. and they only rode their bikes back and forth to mcdonald's oh, fat ass. hold on let me turn the page to chunky Bunnies. it says members of this biker gang included members like aretha franklin jill scott gabby sidibe and dj collins but once beyonce started the Djibouti diet the biker gang dismantled this is why on the cover of her sasha fierce album she was on the motorcycle she sure was. that says she only turns into sasha fierce when she's in front of a plate of hot wings but now that she's on the Djibouti diet you can see that she's looking extra sexy and according to these files she also introduced jay-z to the Djibouti diet look at these pictures you look like steve harvey yeah you see it Jigga man is no longer a jiggly man. Now look at this picture of Kay Michelle. She gave her booty a funeral. Even Rick Ross is on the Djibouti diet. Look at these pictures. He's still fat. Now look at Beyonce before and after she started the Djibouti diet. Disgusting. She was built like a South American with North American money. It's not a hard diet to do. It's based on African spirituality. You have to eat a lot of natural foods and things like that i actually like the Djibouti diet Word. it sits really really well with my system mm. i need for all of you to stay tuned because dr ba ba louis himself is going to tell you all about the Djibouti diet uh -oh. please share this video i risk my life to give you the documentations i put my life on the line every week for you greetings my brothers and sisters this is your brother dr ba by Louis. And most of y'all watching this video sitting over there looking like Oompa Loompas. But in your mind, you think you're Beyonce. A lot of you brothers are sitting there watching this video and you're built just like DJ Academics. But in your mind, you think you're LeBron James. We have a sickness within our community that forces us not to deal with reality. But once you get on the Djibouti diet, your mental deformities will be cured. There will be no needs for you or your children to be on medication. Now let me give y'all my background. My name is Dr. Ba Ba Louie. And make sure whenever you say my name, you say it with capital B's. It's not Ba Ba Louie. It's Ba Ba Louie. Listen, my brothers and sisters, whenever you say my name, make sure you put two Arizona cans worth of respect on my name. Because I got my doctrine in Djiboutiism. I received my doctrine on my second trip to the motherland. That's when I realized that my people cannot eat other people's food and expect to be healthy. We know how to make everybody's traditional foods except for our own. We are masters at making Italian food, Mexican foods, and even Chinese foods. When is the last time your black has made some African food? When is the last time your baby mama made a pot of fufu? When's the last time you had some nyup nyup and nyup nyup? A lot of y'all more African than me, and you don't even know what nyup nyup tastes like. And Jamaican food don't count as an African food, because that is Caribbean soul food, and the prices are way too high. 
This is why I took it upon myself to introduce this diet to every black celebrity in Hollywood. I knew that once Beyonce started the Jabute diet, Popeyes would have to introduce a chicken salad to their menu. You can't expect to be on the Jabute diet if you're dead broke, because healthy living is very expensive. You can't expect to be successful in life if you think there's nothing wrong with eating fast food. One thing you never saw in your life is a fat billionaire. And Warren Buffett don't count because his last name is Buffett, therefore he's able to eat all he can eat. But if your last name is Jones, you should be Bones. If your last name is Penny, you should be Skinny. If your last name is Jenkins, you should be drinking smoothies. If your last name is Chicken Wing or Cheeseburger, you should feel free to be a fat bastard. Since that's not the case for African American people, there is no reason why we should be the most unhealthiest people on the planet. My brothers and sisters, we have to realize as a people that being healthy has nothing to do with how much you weigh. Because within the black community, most of the big people are healthier than the skinny people. And the reason why that is, my brothers, is because big people take pride in washing their ass. The Jabute diet is all about cleanness. Not only a clean body and diet, you have to have a clean record, a clean credit report, a clean driving record, clean children. The only thing most of y'all know how to clean is some ribs off the bone. And this is one of the reasons why you don't have Beyonce type of paper. Now, if you really want to get on the Jabute diet, along with every black celebrity in Hollywood, the first thing you're going to have to do is subscribe to my brother, Sean Blazington's channel. And don't just watch the beginning of the video. Watch the second half of the video because your brother, Dr. Baba Louie, is going to be teaching you all about the Jabute diet. I am here to teach my people how to receive their wealth through their health, and this is what the dominant society fears the most. Subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. Subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. Every Thursday, they run the other pop with me. I be on the block, hustling the document. Only thought I had one, I'm gonna be dropping 50. Sean plays a whole NBA rocker with me. Kobe called me, said he wanna do a collab. Me, him, and Shaq gon' be in the lab. Steph Curry said he wanna buy me a Lambo. Warrior James wanted me to expose Lambo. LeBron James said he subscribed to the channel too. The button right here, tell me what you gon' do. I got that, that, that documentation. Every Thursday. Every Thursday, don't act like you never ever heard of me. Click that. on my video to see what I'm working with, yeah, work and then subscribe to the channel like an emergency. Yeah, emergency. Don't waste your time, hit that subscribe button with urgency. Yeah, urgency. Dave Dollar gave me a dollar cause he loves me. Poor yeah, Piss and KG gave me a hundred G's. Yeah, I told Clay Thompson that KD give me some supper, please. Blazington Records headquarters, Amsterdam, Netherlands. You can't go! Damn, Curry, 100 degrees and he 30. Damn, Curry, shooting them threes in a flurry. Damn, Curry, 100 degrees and he 30. Damn, Curry, shooting them threes in a flurry. He shoot the three in a flurry. Woo! He shoot the ball and go into the hoop like woo, 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 woo. Curry, shooting them threes like they flurry, like it's snow. Got my winner. Right up 
up James Harden though Just like that Yola, he not a real basketball player Chris Paul said he gonna leave for the Lakers to play with LeBron James, they both gonna be so Lakers Steph Curry a playmaker, smoke more weed than Jamaica KD can make the three, so can Clay and Dre by Green Damn, Curry a hundred degrees and he thirty Damn, Curry shooting them threes in a flurry Damn, Curry a hundred degrees and he thirty Damn, Curry shooting them threes in a flurry Two more games and it's all over, baby Chris Paul gonna be crying like a baby The Rock is gonna go straight back to the H-Town Warriors, they don't play around They always gonna stay around Take the game to the 7-7 seven, seven. Lil' Brown gonna be bond on When they in the Eastern Conference Finals They might beat the Celtics But they could not be they right Talk about the Warriors Cause them boys is about to fight KD shoot the basketball They go right in your eye Looking at me cause I'm Sean Blaze I'm your idol Represent the game 2K God That's what I know 7 feet tall Y'all I'm taller than the idol Mike D'Antoni He a phony He a idol Guess they found the right coach They ain't beating my coach The Warriors Those Bay Area players Like he 40 and Basketball and basketball is my two favorite sports. Got my shorts on on the court. I'm dunking all these niggas. 2K got the guard and I'm flying in some feathers. Shining in the weather, there is no competitor. I'm 10 steps ahead of you. Like the Warriors at halftime. I don't waste my time because I don't have no time. Every moment is showtime. When I get the ball, I throw my. Yeah. 2K good. Oh.